Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Bitcoin video. Today we need to briefly look into the fact that Bitcoin is unlikely to break through 28.6k on the first attempt here. We have multiple factors and we're cross-referencing charts as well through to the Ethereum chart and through to the total cryptocurrency market cap chart that do indicate that do suggest that Bitcoin will be seeing at least some sort of preliminary, preliminary rejection from 28.6k. We're not going to waste any time. You know how I like to keep my channel short, sweet, to the point, everything you need to know in the video and no blabbling. So let's get straight into it. What we have here on Bitcoin is essentially this. We'll start with the daily chart. We have broken out, and, and this is just recapping for like 20 seconds here, and then we'll get straight into the new content. We've broken out of the resistance zone at 25.2K. We've zoomed to the upside. We've seen some of the strongest price action we've seen in years. In fact, again, I'll repeat myself. We had the strongest three-day candle, right? We have seen in four years since November 2019, just recently. So it's been incredibly powerful. It's been incredibly strong. It's been an incredibly good uh, couple of weeks here on Bitcoin as we moved up 40 to 45% in just a matter of, of, of just over a week, a week and a half or so. So great stuff. But now we are running into very major resistance. Again, just recapping here, very, very major resistance. Let me find my chart at around 28.6K. Now, these red horizontal lines on this monthly chart, on this two-week chart here, represent previous bull market support zones and previous bear market resistance zones for every cycle. We've had three cycles so far. One, two, three. And every single cycle, we have formed a major support level uh, on a horizontal basis. And we've act acted as resistance before we break above it. When we break above it, we zoom to the upside. It's happened every single time so far. This time, and in the last bull market, 2021 and 2020, that level is 28.6K. And what are we testing right now, guys? We are testing, that's right, 28.6K. We can see, though, that this is a very strong level. And generally speaking, when you see very strong resistance levels, it's unlikely that you break them on the first attempt. Take 25.2K, for example. 25.2K was the top of this range that we saw from the entirety of June 2022 to around February 2023 or April or March 2023. We tested that range for the first time here in February. We saw an extensive correction around 15, 20% and more than that actually. And only after seeing that correction did we break to the upside. Generally, that's how breaking above resistance works. You see a correction, you consolidate, you come back up and then you break it. It's very unlikely that you break that kind of thing on the first attempt. So 28.6K is no difference whatsoever. We're having our first attempt here to break 28.6K and we can see multiple bearish indicators flashing as we come up with this attempt. First and foremost, obviously the price is moving up very rapidly, but unfortunately the, the green volume, the bullish volume is moving down very rapidly. So what we have here is the price moving up, volume moving down, which represents, yes, the fact that the bulls are still in control, but their control is dwindling and not as many people are willing to buy Bitcoin the higher it goes at this point in time, which eventually leads to a seesaw effect, right? What we have here on this side of the seesaw, just look at me for a second, this side of the seesaw, we have the bullish power, this side of the seesaw, we have the bearish power. Now, obviously the bulls are taking control, but now it's slowly starting to flip back and it's not quite there yet, but over time it will get back there and the bears will start to take control. That's what I think is going to happen here. That's what every indicator points to at this point. So bearish volume is starting to form here. Yes, we are still moving, up, still moving upwards, but at the same time as bearish volume is starting to form, we're seeing a massive, a massive bearish divergence and a massive RSI rejection line that we've rejected from two times in the past week on Bitcoin here. So that's not good either. And on top of that, we're also seeing in pink, you can see a clear ascending wedge formation, which is pushing Bitcoin right into this 28.6K zone. And that leaves us very likely to break downwards here. Now, it might be a small correction, okay? It might be a small correction. It might only go downwards to this yellow line. This yellow uptrending line might just be flipped for support. We might only go downwards to like 26.8 or 27, but the chances are we will see some sort of, of correction, right? Worst case scenario, we go down and we retest 25.2K. We bounce off that and come back up. As I said, it won't be a massive correction, but it probably will be some sort of correction. And this is all supported through Ethereum as well. Ethereum is facing uh, diagonal uptrending resistance. As you can see here on this chart, it's failing quite rapidly. Uh, I, I guess you could say quite harshly to break above this yellow line. And the total cryptocurrency market cap is in exactly the same position. What we have here on the total cryptocurrency market cap, if you look at the top red line, the top red resistance line, that lines up with the support line in May 2022. It also lines up with resistance line in August 2022. And of course, we're testing it right now. So of course, we're likely to reject off of that, go down and bounce off the nearest support zone. So not only do we have Bitcoin flashing bearish on four hourly and on daily, we have Ethereum flashing bearish and we have total cryptocurrency market cap flashing bearish. 
All of that is obviously indicative of the fact that Bitcoin will likely move downwards. On top of all of this, we have Bitcoin dominance, which has been showing massive strength recently, right? Showing showing one of the biggest green weeks I've seen on Bitcoin dominance since basically, I think, May, probably May 2022, maybe even back here in 2021. But now we've come to a resistance zone on that level as well, because we're seeing a, um, a descending channel formation. Obviously, those are likely to break to the upside. But again, we're retesting resistance. It's at strong resistance. If we see that reject, what we could be seeing is Bitcoin go downwards or sideways and altcoins having a little run uh, before Bitcoin recovering. And that would happen in the period of time that Bitcoin is correction. So as I said, Everything here is really pointing to the fact that Bitcoin is not showing much strength here. I don't think you should be taking longs in this region. It is quite likely Bitcoin corrects. As to where it corrects to, we'll have to monitor when that occurs. As I said, it could be as low as 28, 26.8 to 27, and it could be as deep as 25.2K and potentially even a wick down below. But I highly doubt, I highly doubt, and you can probably quote me on this, I highly doubt that Bitcoin will break back below 25.2K. Obviously, I'm of the opinion that the bottom is in as per four-year cycle theory. Uh, and I think everything kind of points to that at this point in time, including the S&P correlation decreasing uh, and things like that. So all of those bearish arguments built off traditional markets are kind of going downwards and they're, they're, they're getting weaker. Uh, and the bullish argument is getting stronger by the day. But I do think that Bitcoin is likely to see correction. I just don't think that correction will drag us below 25.2K. I think if we go below 25.2K again, we're re-entering the range we were seeing here since June 2022. Uh, and that's very bearish. We really don't want to see a drop below 25.2K. So the beautiful thing about what's happened with Bitcoin is that we're moving upwards rapidly. And the further we go upwards, the higher we can bring our invalidation zone. Now, here's the thing. We bought Bitcoin at an average price of around 19 to 20K. Okay, now here's a beautiful thing, right? 19 to 20K was the average price of our buying on this channel. Okay, now if we drop below 25.2K, I'll probably be de-risking. So even in the worst case scenario, even if I'm completely incorrect and everything I said is completely wrong from here on out, I still gain 30% on that investment. So it's great stuff. We're in the clear here. We're playing with the house's money and that's really good to know for the Wolfpack. Uh, on top of all of this, I forgot to mention, but DXY is finding some support on this pink line here. Obviously, DXY is reverse correlated to Bitcoin since it's finding support. Uh, it is possible that we do bounce. And if we do bounce, that raises the chances of Bitcoin correcting a little bit as well. So, um, but yeah, moving forward, I do want to quickly re reference because I've, I've, I've spent a lot of time in this video kind of calling for a correction. Uh, and it's not even really, you know, I, I hate to say things like this because obviously it's my opinion. But I mean, if you look at these charts and you think they're bullish at this point in time, it's like, well they're not. I mean, we have so many indicators here saying, yeah, look, here's the thing, right? They're macro bullish, of course, short term. You shouldn't be bullish on this. You shouldn't be bullish going into a very, very strong resistance. Obviously, we can break into the upside, but the statistical probability of that happening is much less than the statistical probability of us correcting. So objectively, the better position to be taking here is one of caution, of course, because why would you be bullish in an ascending wedge structure with long-term RSI bearish divergence, with rejections on Ethereum, with rejections on total cryptocurrency market cap, with DXY support and, and uh, Bitcoin dominance at resistance, right? It's not logical to be short-term bullish in this region. So even if I'm incorrect, even if we move to the upside, you can rest assured that you took the best course of action. And that's what TA is all about. It's all about stacking your eggs in the right basket at that point in time. Doesn't mean it's it's gonna gar be guaranteed to play out perfectly as per your predictions, but it's about taking the best odds, taking the best probability. But I did wanna mention one more time here, because obviously I, I am kind of calling for a uh, rejection, at least a brief one. Uh, off of 28.6k but i do want to quickly make note of the fact that there's absolutely no rush whatsoever to break above 28.6k in a macro scale i am macro bullish right i'm macro bullish if we go down for a month i don't even care if we go down for a week cool if we go down for two months i don't care either as long as we don't break below critical levels it doesn't matter what the time frame is because right now we are ahead of schedule that's very important to note Bitcoin follows a cyclical pathway, a cyclical pattern. Right now, we are ahead of schedule. If we look at what happened in the past, as I said before at the start of this video, in every bull cycle, we form a horizontal support line. Now, I have measured what, from the time we break down from that horizontal support line, from the time we get back above it in each cycle. In 2015, it was 420 days. In 2019, it was 189 days. Taking the average between 189 and 420, right? we can see that we're due to break above 28.6 on April 10th. And if we take 420 and we say it's going to take longer, we're due to break above 28.6K on July 23rd. So we're ahead of schedule right now by about um, almost a month, right? Three weeks. Uh, and, you know, it could realistically take as long as July. Once we start getting past July, once we head into August, and we're still below 28.6K. That's when we can start getting a little bit concerned. But even at that point, there's still room for error further. What I'm just trying to make the point is that 
What I'm just trying to say is that Bitcoin is ahead of schedule. So there's really nothing to worry about if we do reject here. And of course, as per the charts, that's probably more likely to happen. So that's what I wanted to leave you guys with there. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and I'm going to look at a few things before we end it off. First of all, BitGet Exchange, guys. If you're not familiar with the BitGet Exchange, it's my personal exchange. I've used it for trading full time for over a year now, close to a year and a half. I think maybe, maybe just over a year actually. But the point is I've used it for trading for a very long period of time. It's got five times lower fees than Binance. It's non-KYC. You can sign up from anywhere in the world using a VPN from the United States of America. It's got a reward center. It's got a protection fund. Everything you need on the exchange, it has. And if you sign up using my exclusive referral link, which you can find in the description below, you can get a 15% trading fee discount on this exchange for life, which is massive and adding on top of a very cheap exchange. So go ahead and do that if you're interested. Then if you want to learn how to trade like usual, check out the Crypto Academy courses. This course will teach you everything you need to know about TA, everything you need to know about trading, finding trades, using TradingView, using exchanges, literally everything you can think of. Uh, and you can go through this uh, website here and read the outline, read the unit outline, uh, read what you get on the course. Uh, and ultimately, if you're interested, you can chuck us an email at cryptoacademycourses at gmail.com and we'll set up a payment for you there and also answer the questions you might have. And then finally, guys, if you're interested in the VIP group, if you're interested in trading altcoins with me on Telegram sub daily, you can do so for 100 USD for a three month membership. And all that information is in the description below as well. Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one.